first one is a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square so this identity will be proving it so for that let us consider a line a line with length a again we draw another line with length b I have indicated these two in two different colors so that they will be distinct. Now I make a square out of this a plus b line. So I again draw a line a and a similar line b and mark this as a and this as b. And likewise I complete the square. So this is a square with side a plus b. So this is again a, this is a and this length is b. Okay, in order to find a plus b the whole square, that is the square of this, it is nothing but I can divide this square into four distinct parts. One is I get a square with side A, I get another square with side B and a remaining two rectangles. This first square is nothing but the area of the square made with the side A. So this is A square and this is a square made with side B. So the area of this square is B square and here we have a rectangle with length b and breadth a so the area is a b and similarly here we have another rectangle with length a and breadth b giving its area to be a b so this a plus b the whole square is nothing but sum of all these four parts so that could be written as a square plus the second part a b and the third a b and the next one that is a b square this could be identically written as a plus b the whole square is nothing but a square plus 2ab plus b square. This is how it is proved. And similarly, we have a proof for a minus b the whole square. Here we go with a minus b the whole square that is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So for this, I again construct a, a line A. This line is A. Now, I mark a point somewhere on the line A and consider this distance to be B. So the remaining distance is going to be A minus B. Now, I construct a square with side A. In a similar fashion, having b at all the three sides so so this is going to be a minus b this is again going to be a minus b this is going to be a minus b so this is an entire square of side a side a so now we would like to our interest is to find a minus b the whole square so here we have a minus b and this again is side a minus b so I construct a square with an area a minus b whole square and now I need so in order to get this a minus b the whole square what I need to do is subtract these this part subtract this portion from the big square a so for that i divide this into two parts i just draw a line and divide it into two parts now i have this is my a minus b the whole square and this is going to be a rectangle with breadth b and length a so this is going to be a b and this portion is going to be a rectangle with side b and another length a minus b so it is going to be b into a minus b 
So in order to write this a minus b the whole square, what I can do is I take this big square that is the a square, the bigger square and subtract these two parts so that I get this a minus b the whole square. So this could be obtained by a minus b whole square can be obtained by subtracting these two parts from the entire big square that is a square. So a square minus a b minus b into a minus b. So this could be expanded as a square minus a b minus a b plus b square. So ultimately we get a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Hence proved. Thank you.